Let's see the polymerization of epoxy resin. To understand what polymerization is, it is needed to know what monomers are and what a polymer is. Monomers are the molecules that polymerize. The polymer is the macromolecule that is obtained in the polymerization. So, polymerization is a chemical reaction where many monomers come together to form a polymer. There are two types of polymers, homopolymers and copolymers. In homopolymers, the monomer molecules are all the same. In copolymers, the monomer molecules are different. An example of a homopolymer is polyethylene. Many ethylene molecules join together to form polyethylene. An example of a copolymer is the polymer obtained with the epoxy resin. The epoxy resin reacts with an amine and an intermediate compound is formed. This intermediate compound can react through the nitrogen, through a radical or through another radical with another epoxy group or with another amine group and so on. The result is a three-dimensional macromolecule that forms a hard solid. Our polymerization needs a component A and a component B. In a glass, at a certain amount of component A. And half by mass of component B. Stir for three minutes. When stop stirring, there is no rush as the reaction is slow. A mold is needed, which must be plastic or glass. Add resin to a little less than the capacity of the glass. After two hours, the resin has hardened. Place an object or a little doll that you want to keep. Add new resin. Within half an hour, the mixture becomes hot, which is a sign that it is reacting. When stirring with the rod, air bubbles have formed. They should not worry us, because they go up and eliminate themselves. They rise slowly due to the viscosity of the mixture. Wait another two hours for the mixture to harden. If the mold is plastic, it can be peeled off. If it's glass, it can't. And this is the result.